Did you guys see that new South Park episode on obesity and the healthcare system? It's pretty messed up, but it's not far from the truth. Actually, I started a practice that didn't include any insurance companies whatsoever. I'm happy to let my patients know that I work for them, not their insurance company, not the hospital system. And this is important because as a patient, you must know that your doctor has your best interest in mind, that he's not just pushing some new medication or procedure because that increases his bonus or makes the hospital system happy or because it's been approved by your insurance company. Just because your insurance hasn't approved it doesn't mean that it's not a legitimate therapy. And additionally, you should also have a nice long conversation with your doctor about any intervention you take, like whether you get an injection or take a pill, you should understand some of the good things and the bad things that can happen to you because you're the one who has to live with those consequences, not your doctor, right? So your doctor is doing the best that they can in the system that currently exists. And it's really important for you to understand what that system is about. And that system is not about health care. In fact, it's about disease care. And that insurance company has done a lot of research. They've looked at all kinds of different models and they have found the most profitable ones. They've essentially created an algorithm that improves their profitability at the doctor's expense and at the patient's expense. So you wanna make sure that you have a doctor who is actually caring and who can take the time to educate you about what's going on with you and the good and bad of various interventions like medications, procedures, or injections. And I've been able to take my practice from seeing up to 40 patients in one day down to seeing about 20 to 40 patients per week. And not only has this reduced a whole lot of stress for myself, but I feel that I'm giving my patients way better quality of healthcare. And I honestly can say I love my job. So when a patient comes and sees me, I'm not looking at which insurance company uh, they have and which service I can provide based on what is going to be approved with that insurance company. Healthcare should be pure. And I'm talking about health, right? There's the foundations of health that are established by our biology. And this cannot be argued with. It's the foundation of who we are and it's what has made us what we are today. So if that system becomes dysfunctional or breaks, our healing doesn't really work so well and our disease starts piling up. So if we can focus on health and the foundations of health and understand how people heal, then we can exploit that system, make that system work as good as possible and remove any barriers to that system so that you can get the best outcome possible. And this is what's involved with an appointment with me. I spend up to an hour with most of my patients to discuss this exact situation that they're in what's in the way of their healing and how can we improve that? How can we help you to heal for the long term, or provide some type of therapy that's in alignment with our own healing mechanisms that provides long-term benefit? This is the discussion you should be having with your doctor. What is the best option for you? And you can't really look to the insurance model to decide what is right. You actually have to look within and listen to yourself. As a patient, you know what feels right. You know when there's something that resonates. Think of the healthcare insurance model like car insurance. The car is not going to be maintained. The oil change is not going to be paid for or anything like that. Insurance does not cover that issue. But if you're in a catastrophic accident and you totaled it, then insurance can come in and help put the pieces back together, buy you a new car, and hopefully provide some medical care. The healthcare insurance uh, model is not really designed to optimize health. It's there to manage disease. So if you're looking for health, make sure you find the right doctor for you. I encourage all of you to find a doctor who does not accept your insurance. 
This is commonly known as a concierge doctor or a fee-for-service doctor like myself. I'm not saying get rid of your insurance or get rid of your doctor who takes your insurance, but understand that there are limitations. If I was in a horrible car accident, I'd be glad that I have that insurance because a stay at the ICU with a couple of surgical procedures could bankrupt us. It's important to find that balance so that you can have all of your disease managed, but also your health optimized. And finding a good combination is what's going to be tricky for you because you have to understand your body, your strengths, and your weaknesses. And when you start to figure those out, you can start to create a system to help manage your problems. And your doctors are there to help you create that system. All right, you guys, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for listening today.